Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hmm. So, this is Carthage. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges, guys. This is Joanna coming back with another battle replay here. But uh, on Total War Rome 2, in case you guys could not tell that, uh, this settlement is Carthage, and this is a guerrilla war, guerrilla swordsman unit for Nervii, and I'm just doing this right here in the beginning because I know that Vanguard troops can hide out back here. Very, aware, very, very, very aware of that. I think most of us are. I did not know that they could start here on the wall. That's kind of interesting because they're technically starting inside the settlement. So, yeah, did not know that was a thing. Did not know that was a thing. But, all right, let us swing all the way back over to the rest of the armies. We do have a 4v4 siege here on the settlement of Carthage. Let's get this one going. We do have Nabatea here as one of the defenders being commanded by the Centurion. Then we have Pergamon there being commanded by Pedro Sor. And then Ardavaki being commanded by... Oh, sorry. Arvaki uh, is being commanded by Pedro Sor. Pergamon is being commanded by Everos. That's right. And the final army on the uh, find up oh, there he is Pontus. Okay, so Pontus there being commanded by Beastmaster. We do actually have a Nabatine general coming outside. Nabatine noble cavalry general coming outside of the settlement, going to nestle himself over there in the woods. All right, getting out onto the attacker side. We will start off here attacking by himself. We do have Saba being commanded by Marketable Skills. If you guys do not know who Marketable Skills is, he is a guy over on Twitch that does a lot of Total War Rome 2 siege battles on his streams. We'll make sure to put the link for his Twitch channel in the description below. But he has brought them seven units of the Sabian Swordsman, four Masgat Marauders, his general is a unit of the Royal Guard, which is a very heavy spear infantry. He has also brought with him four units of the Sabaean Archers and two of these lovely, lovely Sabaean Camel Cataphracts. Very, very, very tough Camel Cataphract units there. Moving over here a little bit, we do start with Kush being commanded by AB, and he has brought six units of Armored Chotel Warriors, seven Kushite Slave Infantry, and three regular Slave Infantry. His general is a Royal Archer, and he has three Kushite Archers. Moving over a little bit more, we do have Sparta being commanded by Bloody Stranger, and he has brought seven units of the Royal Spartans, one of those being his general, four Spartan youths, and three Cretan archers. And then finally, we do have Nervii, as I mentioned way back at the beginning there. Nervii is being commanded by Donald, and he has brought six units of Celtic warriors, five Osworn, one of those being his general. Two units of Levy Freeman, four Garlic Hunters, and the way earlier mentioned Gorilla Swordsman still hanging out up over there on the wall. I'm, I've am i never seen that, and he's just going to leave him sit there. All right. Interesting. Very, again, I, I'm not trying to take away from the front part of the battle there, the rest of the battle on the front wall there. I just, this is very, very new, very interesting to me. I did not know you could actually do that, but all right. Let's get back out over here. It sounds like we have some walls being damaged. Yes, Sparta has brought up a unit of his Spartan youths. And, ooh, some Pontic soldiers just died. 37 Pontic swordsmen. Or, sorry, just Hillman? Oh, regular Hillman. Oh, yeah, but it's whatever. I mean, people say Hillman's lives matter, which, yeah, they're good for front line. They're good to soak up uh, damage and archer fire and such, but, yeah. All right, we got some more Spartan use there for Sparta bringing up their tortoise. I'm wondering where he's going to bring that, but here we go. Will they come through the breach? Nabatee and Swordsman, two units of Nabatee and Swordsman. We do also have a unit of Scutari hanging out right there. Ooh, another unit of Scutari. Yep, another unit of Scutari. Nope, Iberian Swordsman and Nabatee and Swordsman. Okay, oh, we got these. Ooh. Arvaki, Noble General, two units of Noble Fighters really close up here to the front line. Another Skitare, some Armored Desert Hoplites, very solid Spear Infantry unit there for Nabatea. Cavalry, oh man, oh wait, 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 wait. Armored Camel Spearmen making their way out here for Nabatea, and we also have one, two, three, 
four units of Scutare for Arvaki coming out of this side gate. Starting to see this more and more and more and more and more and more, guys. Not always just cavalry. Are a lot of infantry starting to pour out of these gates. So if you are on attack on Carthage, be I'm basically going to just say be ready for this because I've been seeing this a whole lot more. I don't know if this is just a new defensive tactic or whatever, but yeah, just be ready for infantry to come out. Not always just cavalry, but watch for infantry to come out. All right, back over on this side, we have some more of the mercenary Celtic warriors there. Two units of those. Some Thoreo spears for Pergamon along with one of his regular units of archers. Sparta has made their way inside the settlement. Okay, so we do have some Spartan youths. Two units of Spartan youths to be precise inside the town. They've not captured the uh, this tower yet, but, so they are getting shot at. Oh no, we had a sliver. That sucks when that happens. That always sucks. That always sucks. Sorry to whoever that was. I think that was Sparta. That sucks. I really hate when that happens. <laughs> that happens to me quite often, actually. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Sparta coming in. And we got some slingers, Siberian slingers, firing over into those Spartan youths. Another unit of the Spartan youths have now come in, and they're not eating javelins. Why? Why are these Nabataean swordsmen not throwing their javelins? Oh, they're going to sneak this tower. Sparta is going to sneak this tower away. Oh, no. Nabatea is moving up. Okay. He's not going to let him just take it. Good. Stay in there. There you go. Neutralized, but not taken. So that is good. Sparta now bringing over some more of his Spartan youths. We are getting closer to this battle. Actually really getting going. Nabateen Swordsman moving over. Going to take on this Spartan Youth unit. We have more coming in. Not just yet. Royal Spartans are right there, though. Ready to go. Anything, anything, anything. Nope. We have some Kush Archers that have moved up. Some of the Kushite Archers getting some shots. Firing in onto these Pergamon Archers. Going to push them back just a little bit. Maybe got some shots into the, some of the Galatian Swords there as well. So clipping down some numbers. Artillery shots now starting to come in. And did they make contact? Let's see. Saba over here. I don't remember if I said Saba does have a giant ballista. He's got 46 kills so far on that ballista. He's firing over in this direction towards the Thoreo Spears. Get some shots into these heavy archers, I would imagine, as well. Maybe some Skitari damage. The battle has definitely started off. Here comes another volley coming in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No. No. Those two missed. I don't even think the other ones made it inside the walls. Back over on the front line here. These Spartan youths are pretty much being handled, but we have some Royal Spartans inside the settlement. Kind of not formed up the way you would want them to be formed up. They did just take a pretty sizable javelin volley in the side. They're already down 20 men. 22 kills, though, so kill-death ratio is all right. But ooh, nope, 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 nope. They are dropping quicker and quicker and quicker. And now they're facing the wrong way. That is rough. That is definitely rough there. A lot of losses in this Royal Spartan unit. Already down over 40 men. They are getting murdered. Soaking up a lot of javelins though. So I mean, I, I mean it's one unit of Spartans, Royal Spartans. It's pricey, yes, but they are soaking. I mean that one unit is soaking up a lot of javelins. Thoreo Spears just unleashing on this Royal Spartan unit. And I guess they're paying. They're paying for themselves in blood. They're not really paying for themselves in kills, but they're, play, they're paying for themselves in blood. A lot. Look at all that Royal Spartan right there, dead. That was all right here. With all that one unit of Royal Spartans that just got absolutely slaughtered. But again more and more javelins they actually took some rocks as well i think some of the iberian slingers were firing into them as well so sparta is definitely taking a lot of damage here right now but he's doing good i, I know that might sound a little confusing or a little stupid or whatever but he's doing a good thing because he's soaking up a lot of javelins and he still has some powerful units back here i mean he's already he's still got his other units of the royal spartans back here so one unit technically being lost to 
I guess, save for the rest of the army, for the rest of the force, for the rest of the attackers. I guess he's he's showing uh, a good resolve here as far as being a good teammate. That Royal Spartan unit just shattered. Yeah, they did. 55 kills, 19 men left. They are gone. Second unit of Royal Spartans have now moved in, and they're even getting murdered. Wow. Here we go. Some Royal Spartan youths coming. Royal Spartan youths. Wow. Some Spartan youths coming back in, but again, more archer fire in onto these Royal Spartans. They're kind of showing. They're showing their back. So I mean, I don't blame the defenders for firing into them yeah i really don't blame them at all they are just slaughtering these spartans another unit of royal spartans coming in the sparta is just going he is just going out all out um sabo over here is kind of still just hanging out waiting i guess maybe waiting for an opportunity he does have a unit of the sabian swordsman inside but no real press over on this side just yet the attackers are still waiting for any sort of push over here. I think the Nabataean general went back inside. Over on this side, these four units of Skatari just kind of hanging out. We do have a nice little line from Nervii, four units of his Celtic warriors, along with one unit of the regular slave infantry lined up there, but still just a massive bloodbath here so far for Sparta. And not in the good way, as far as you would be, you know, saying, well, he got a lot of kills. He's not getting a lot of kills just yet. They shoot 102 kills, though, so not too bad. They are taking on a unit of the Thoreo Spears there for Pergamon. This unit easily coming in, breaking one of the Nabataean Swordsmen. But again, a game of Spears here now for Pergamon, just unloading. Royal Spartans sacrificing themselves. Really, really huge sacrifice here so far by Sparta for the good of the attacking side. Trying to make... Uh, Trying to make a positive here as, out, of, out of wherever I can. Um, yeah, Sparta is definitely getting chewed up. This is going to be his third, second and third unit of Royal Spartans, I think, that are going to get destroyed. That is pretty rough. Let's see what he's still got. One, two, three, four. There comes another one. He's sending another Royal Spartan in. Wow. Wow. This is, I guess this would be a definition of non-selfish team play. Unselfishness. Very expensive Spartan army, though. Here we go. Got a little bit of shift out. These Royal Spartans are going to pull away. Another unit charging in. Look at all those Spartans right there on the ground. So many Spartans over here. Spartan youths and Royal Spartans. So many dead. So many dead. I mean, yeah, we see some Nabataeas in there. We saw at least maybe see some uh, Arvaki in there as well, but... Ooh, man. Is that another... Is that... Wait, did he just... There's the other unit. He's bringing his general over. So Sparta... Looks like Sparta is just going to send his entire force right through these two breach points right there. Here we go. We got some Kushite slave infantry coming around. Going to cut into this unit of Skutare. Speaking of Skutare, we actually have the armored camel spearmen are back outside over here as well. Looks like Nervi is going to start shifting some units down to get inside the settlement. Saba still over here. Starting to shift some units down. Looks like maybe he's going to get ready to go inside. What is that? Is that chariots? It is! 
Oh man, we got Pontus Chariots coming down the road here. That can be deadly. Javelins can kill them, but oh my god, look at that. It's tossing these dudes on their heads. Bringing them down, bringing them down, bringing them down. Archer fire now starting to... I just saw a whole bunch of lines. Whole bunch of red lines there. Yeah, you can see the amount of archers. Look at all the attacking archers getting over there. All scoped up, getting ready to start firing at those chariots. Chariots are going to definitely pull back. Looked like he was going to try and run them down over here. Maybe get into all the uh, Spartan archers that are now retreating from the inside of the town walls there. Royal Spartans over here down to... Uh, Lost eight men so far, zero kills. They are blasting on through to the next line. Mercenary Celtic warriors gonna have to deal with some of these rural Spartans, another unit of the Galatian swords for Pergamon coming down. Did that, uh, no, they're still there. Cushite Slave Infantry unit is still there. Rural Spartans now popping into their hoplite wall. We have two units of the Sabaean swordsmen over on this side. Some of the Nervii Celtic Warriors, one of the units not looking too good, down 87 kills, down to 32 men this unit here, 101 with 40 men left, but another unit of the Royal Spartans have moved inside, he's still got his general outside. All of the Royal Spartans are either inside here or have already died and broke, S minus the general. I want to make sure I was said that, minus the general, so yeah, this, is, this is a rough, rough, rough battle here for Sparta. Nervii charging up again over here. Some more Celtic warriors getting it, mixing it up with some of the Galatian swords. Chase, I think it looks like they actually chased the uh, some of the pil pil picked Peltests back a little bit there. Maybe that was their plan, just to try and move them back just a little bit there. Is that another Camel Cataphract? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there they are. He's getting ready. He's getting ready with this Camel Cataphract. I'm pretty sure that would be a problem. That would be some big time javelins right there to be taken. But uh, might not be a bad idea. Maybe the slave infantry come up and around the corner and hold up that unit. That camel cataphract unit would smash right through. It would destroy these guys. They don't even have shield walls, so it could run right through them. Archers right there down to 117. Mercenary Celtic warriors there as well. But they would have to worry about the initial javelin volley. So maybe not a bad idea for them to hold back. Cretan archers here for Spartan to start to unload here. 69, giggity, and another one here with 61 kills. That unit there was 16. Did it just a huge, brutal fight here in this front courtyard of the settlement of Carthage again. In case you guys did not remember, we are on Carthage, and this over here is the town center there. Did they move? Oh, they have moved. What did they find? Bronze Shield Pikemen down there. So the defenders now know that these Gorilla Swordsmen are here. And they are just getting shot. Might not be a bad idea to move down. While Pont maybe Pontus isn't paying attention. Bring them down here. Get a Javelin or Volley or two. Depending on what else is still here. I didn't see if there was anything over there for Pontus still. But back over here in the front part of the settlement. Sparta is still digging away. Pressing forward. Royal Spartans have moved up. Another unit of Royal Spartans there. 68 kills down to 29 men. And yeah, Sparta has taken a... Sparta's taken a shellacking. Big time. I mean, it's definitely... It's probably being very appreciated by his teammates, though. I would imagine. But, I mean, that's still a huge blow to one of the attacking armies. Being down to... 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, technically five, but you'd probably be able to put three of these units together and maybe make a full unit. It's probably very appreciated by his by his attacking allies, though. There we go. Some more Spartan youths have moved up. 38 kills for them. They're going to push in with this Royal Spartan unit into some of these armored desert hoplites there. More and more and more destruction. These Royal Spartans just getting hammered again. Stones being thrown. We still have javelins being thrown as well. Maybe not, but here we go. Kush bringing a unit of his Kushite slave infantry on over here. Where are they going to get a charge in onto these Glacian swordsmen? 
Oh, Lazian Swordsman got the charge off onto the Kushite Slave Infantry there. Found another unit. Oh, it's Celtic Warriors. Celtic Warriors being chased away. 56 kills for them. Chariots are in the middle. Oh, God. I didn't even see them come down. 119 kills. Ouch. Let's see how many kills he got on, on archers. He actually got a good amount of kills on these archers. Cretan archers there for Sparta. Chariot, 192 see what he's up to 206 and he's gonna get more if he runs into anything as he's coming out you better get out of the way oh that's not no nope, nope, never mind that's same team same team never mind so the chariots were used there I do apologize for missing that let's see what he did damage wise one of the Cretans still at 120 these two are both down to 48 and 44 good amount of damage done to them Kushites at 119 anything over here really did he get any of the infantry Mm, yeah, this slave infantry is down to 76, but I mean, it's just slave infantry, so it's not really the end of the day. Kushite slave infantry there with, fifth, uh, I'm sorry, with uh, 58, yes. Slave infantry there, 160. This slave infantry, 153. So, I mean, like I said, he did have 200 kills. How many kills did he have? 207 kills. Not terrible, but that's an expensive unit of chariots. That is an expensive unit of chariots, but here we go. What is that? Is that more Sabine Swordsman? It is. More Sabine Swordsman moving up. Arvaki with his Katari moving up a little bit more along with the Camel Spearman there. Armored Camel Spearman from Nabatea. The attackers are really starting to make a good push here in the center. They do have control of that tower, which is going to be huge. But the Spartan General now inside the settlement. And he is down to the General. I mean, he's got a unit of Spartan use right there with only 40 men left in it. But Sparta, Sparta is a huge, huge sacrifice. Sacrificing himself for his allies, for the good of the attack. A lot of damage again to the general here. 43 kills down to 96 men left in the unit. And they are still getting shot at. Still taking more losses. Now down to, 90, down to 96 men. You see, real fast, I just have to show it again. Look at the amount of Spartans that have given their lives for this attack so far. Brutal. Brutal. And the general's still taking more damage here. Down to 73 men now. He still has his archers inside, though. 79, 77, and 44. But even they are taking losses. 85, 38, and 37. So still more and more losses being suffered by this Spartan army. Spartan general now dropping even more down to 48 men. Currently taking, what is he taking on? Armored Desert Hoplites. Oof. Tough fight. World Spartan general now down to 39 men left. Is the general dead? General is not dead yet. Still alive. Here comes those Camel Spearmen, though. They are going to start testing the limits of the of the attacking factions. This Spartan General is not long for this world. Down to 33 men now. Kushite Slave Infantry getting pelted in the back. Arvaki Balearic Slingers getting some really solid shots in onto the back of those Kushite Slave Infantry. Spartan General... 31 men left, and he is starting to waver now. I do hope that this was Sparta's plan from the beginning. Because he has now lost his general. His general unit has now shattered. He's leaving the battlefield. 23 men remain. Did the general die? The general himself did not die, so that's a good thing, at least for... Somewhat morale for the rest of the Spartan army being the three units of archers and the one unit of Spartan youths. But past that, not really. Uh, that is very unfortunate there for Sparta. And over back over on the other side here does look like the... Uh, wait, where'd they go? Are they dead? I do not see the gorillas anymore. Where did they go? Did they come into the town center? Oh, they did make it into the town center. They're all dead, though. Okay, didn't see that. Focused way too much on the uh, general there. Do have another unit of chariots right there for Pontus, though. 
Let's see, 192 for the Slingers, zero for those Javelin, uh, for those uh, Agima Spears. So, a lot of kills by the Balearic Slingers there. I'm going to guess that these chariots probably did some of the lawn mowing over here. They did lose one chariot back over here, so I'm assuming he probably did the majority of the damage. But we do know, know that Pontus has another unit of chariots over here. Spartan youths making their way back up towards the center, towards the uh, walls, I should say, here. Actually, they're they're having a unit of Skatari chase them. So the tower's actually going to get some good shots down onto the Skatari. Going to start doing some damage to that 60 armor. Osworn going to be tasked with dealing with some of these Skatari right now. And it's Skatari getting a massive charge. 21 charge bonus off the Osworn not using their 35 charge bonus right there. Oh, there they are. Chariots coming, ripping through down again. 129 kills in melee, losing right now. Keep going. Keep clicking, keep clicking, keep clicking, Chariots. You got to keep moving. They're cur this one's currently caught on the shield wall right there, but the rest of them are still there. There's still seven of them left, but they're getting caught. Again, caught up by shield wall. You see a unit go into shield wall, you got to pull away. You have to pull away. Second unit of the chariots now being removed here. Did not actually end up seeing what his ending kill tally was, though. And I don't think we have any that survived. Pretty sure they all broke. Got some of the bigger boys now. Armored Shotel Warriors for Kush coming in. 119 kills for this unit, down to 35. Ouch. More and more stones being thrown into the back of these Armored Shoto Warriors. Levy Freeman now making their way forward. Rest of the Saba force still moving around. Saba, both of his uh, camel cataphracts, not one of them has been touched just yet. Got cavalry coming down. Nabatean general. Nabatean noble general coming down. Crushing into the slave infantry. Chasing away the royal Kushite archer general there for Kush. Trying desperately to run away. Did that one unit break? Or both of these slaves gone. No, one of the units, the regular slave infantry, has now shattered completely. Some more Osworn making their way over here. Going to continue trying to protect this flank here. Some of the Balearic Slingers have come outside now as well. Levy Freeman up on the wall taking on these Pontic so Oh, no, it's regular Hillman. They might actually win that fight. They might actually win that fight being the, uh, the Levy Freeman. What is wrong with this dude? There you go. Stop moving, bud. Again, guys, I do apologize for those couple of things that I missed, that initial chariot charge down there. I was just really focused on Sparta. I was really, really focused on what Sparta was doing there. Some of the Kush archers now here in the center, trading back and forth. Some of the eastern archers of Pontus, 101 and 94 for those two kills. For those two units, I should say. Royal Kushite Archer General here with 24. These units here, 31. The other unit of archers. No, other unit of archers. I thought he had another unit there. Thought he had another unit there, no? Oh, I guess they're gone. I guess they are gone. Tough, tough, tough attack for the on the settlement of Carthage so far for the attackers. Shotel Warriors over here, 239 kills, doing a pretty good job. Now starting to carve into some of these Toreo Spears there for Pergamon. 
Another unit of Iberian swordsmen here, ready with those javelins, looking for opportunities, looking for targets. Saba with a unit of his Sabian swordsmen over here, doing a good job against these Thoreo spears there for a per Oh, sorry, a Gima spears. A Gima spears. Okay. More javelins coming in. Oh, God. Attacker's getting a little bit of a payback javelin-wise on those Agimas there. For all those Spartans that threw their... Well, I don't want to say threw. They sacrificed. They sacrificed themselves for the good. Now, hopefully, it is enough of a sacrifice for these attackers. We have about 15 minutes left in the battle replay. Attackers still have a lot of solid units. A lot of Osworn, a lot of Armored Choto Warriors left, so... This battle is far from over. If these Camel Counterfacts can get inside, they can find a dip around, they can get in behind somewhere, that can seriously change this battle. What is this? More Armored Desert Hoplites coming up. A lot of Armored Desert Hoplites here for, so far for Nabatea, which I don't blame them. They are very good infantry, very good spears that can hold for a long, long, long time. Ravaki's swinging around a little bit further. Got a Balearic Slinger moving around. Gold Hunter there, 83 kills. They might still have some ammo left. Probably bring them back up. Nabatean Swordsman now getting a drop on some of these Moscow Marauders. But here we go. Big push. Osworn and two units of Moscow Marauders now pressing back in onto that Nabatean Swordsman unit. That may be an opportunity for the attackers to start getting some really good pushes here. Galician Swords, Iberian Swordsman, and a mass, and a uh, Celtic Warrior there. This is quite the force charging up in this road. That is pretty big. Defenders might find it necessary to send a unit of Desert Hoplites down over there. We'll end up seeing what he has to do though, but yeah, this is, this is gonna be a lot of pain. This is gonna be a lot of pain. Osworn charging a full unit of Osworn. Charging it onto that mercenary Celtic warrior, actually getting around the corner a little bit in onto this uh, Nabatean swordsman unit as well. Armored Chota warrior sitting, waiting, 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 waiting. Sabo over here, some more of these Sabian swordsmen currently taking on some Galician swords. Says the Galician swordsman unit is winning that fight at the moment. More Sabian swordsmen coming back in from routing. Another unit of slave infantry coming in. Regular slave infantry, 160 out of 160. Armored Showtel Warriors charging in. That was a good charge. It was definitely a good charge, making use of that 28 charge bonus. Get into these Galician swords, get into the Iberian swordsmen, a little bit into the Toreo spears as well. So a very solid charge there. Osworn General for Nervii making his way a little bit further. He's going to pull back a little bit though. He's still got two Osworn sitting outside. Two pretty much full units of Osworn, 157 and 155. Ooh, Nabatean General coming out again. 92 kills, looking for an opportunity, but don't forget, Sabian Camel Cataphracts over there, super heavy, heavy shock cavalry, can do a ton of damage, just not left in melee for very long, melee defense there is only 20. Let's see how this push is doing, was that Osworn at? Oh yeah, he got through, Osworn have now gotten through 176 men, I'm sorry, 176 kills, 94 men left in the unit, and they are going to catch into some of these Nabatean heavy archers. But look at that. 218 kills for them. Very nicely done. Armored Desert Hoplites making their way over. We do have another unit of Agima Spears now coming down as well. Arvaki with a unit of Iberian Swords coming in onto the back of that Osworn unit. We also do have, still have this Armored Choto War unit over here taking a look, seeing where he might want to go. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. I would say right here, there is obviously a gap right there. Get some cavalry moving. One of those, uh, one of those camel cataphracts moving in there would definitely be a solid shout. 92 kills for the Nabataean Noble Cavalry General. Not really sure what he caught into. Might have gotten a rear charge onto these Osworn there. Did not end up getting any kills on that unit though. 
rumbling around. Oh, I think he's going to get a charge. Oh, no. Is he going to charge this camel cataphract? I would. Yep. Charge him. Hit him while they're moving. While they're not moving. Stationary charge. Boom. Big charge. I'm going to start cutting them down. Once that once that attack really starts going, the yep, look at that. Sabine camel cataphract's already losing one. They're going to start losing some pretty good numbers. The longer they stay in melee against a heavy melee cavalry unit. But here we go. The other units are being camel cataphracts now making their way over. But the Nabataean general is going to pull away. Smart move by the Nabataean general there. Very smart move. Clipping two of the Sabaean camel cataphracts. Osworn over here starting to do some really good kills. 300 kills now for that Osworn unit. Now tearing into this unit of Iberian swords there. Armor Desert Hoplites being removed with 23 men left in the unit. The Iberian Swordsman here with 23 as well. There's the Pontus General in the center. Pontic Swordsman General being removed. 38 kills in that Osworn for Nervii. Get ready. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's not good. Run away, Osworn. Run away. Let your archers deal with that. Osworn kind of getting a javelin volley off, but... Ronchio Pikeman still doing pretty good. Still pressing forward. Spreading that line out. Arvaki now really starting to press around. Nabatean General coming around as well. Ooh, we got a train coming. Got a train coming. Keep moving, uh, Nabatean General. Keep moving. Oh, no. He's going to get caught. Is he going to get caught? Oh, it's so close. Those camels are right there. He's going to get caught. Come on. Nope. Camel's pulling. Are they pulling off? No, no, no. He's still going. Second unit is still chasing around as well, but that Nabatean general is going to get away. Yeah, he's going to get away. These slingers are now going to line up and get ready to toss into that camel cataphract as they're coming. Now they're going to get shot. Are they going to get shot in the back? Oh, no. They're firing at this camel cataphract over there. Chasing them away. Back inside the settlement over here. The Osworn General. Pontus General is gone. So the Osworn General for Nervii has pulled away from those bronze shield pikemen. Now down to 67 men. Wow, they took a lot of losses. Lots of losses. Again, switching them out. Oh, Nabatean General, where's he going? What's he looking for? He's looking for something. Uh, maybe he was trying to get in there, but the Osworn General there for Nervii blocking the path. Camel Cataphracts now coming inside, and this is open now, guys. This is open. Camel Cataphracts charge right in there. Pull this Swordsman unit out of the way, and go. Go, Camels, go. Smash right through that unit of Galatian Swordsman. There you go. Knocking more than half the unit on their butts. And just keep on going. Nope. The second unit coming in. E kind of cutting a little bit of the charge. Kind of cutting a little bit of that charge bonus off. 68 charge bonus is huge. But look at that. Galatian Swords now being removed. And these two units of Camel Cataphracts are about to have a wide open road. What do we have here? Pontus with a with a scorpion here. Interesting. He's already actually lost his scorpion somewhere. Not sure where exactly he lost it at, but I'm pretty sure I know where the rest of the uh, defending armies are going to take a lot of damage from. Go. Don't even worry about the gate camels. Keep it moving. You can see the defenders starting to move back. Some of their range units leaving some units up here by the front. We actually still have the noble fighters. Two units of noble fighters for Arvaki up at the front line there. One unit going that way. The other unit of Camel Cataphracts is going to come over here and take care of this Eastern Scorpion very, very quickly. Down to 10 men left, and they will be removed very fast. The other unit of the Camel Cataphracts did come around. Got a big charge in onto the back of the Gima Spear unit there. He 
Keep it going, keep it going. Ooh, javelin volleys. Nicely done there by Aravaki. You see what he did right there? He kind of hugged around the corner to those buildings. Camel Counterfracts might have wanted to come a little bit further up. They would have taken more damage. But look at them trying to clip around the corner there. They're just not getting a charge off at all. Right, this unit here. Is he going to come down the stairs? Yeah, I guess, I mean, coming down the stairs over there. But this first unit right here, now charge. Turn around and charge right there into the, into the meat of that Iberian Swordsman unit. Get a lot of kills. Probably freight train them and get them off the battlefield completely. Kamikataphrax now charging it onto some of the pick Peltas. The Iberian Slinger's there. Second unit is going to swing around. Nope, not going to swing around. Where are they going? I think this unit might be heading towards the town center a little bit. Did see some of the archers and slingers moving back towards the town center there. We have some Pontus units making their way back. But this other unit of Camel Cataphrax has now started really ticking his way through. 120 kills getting through these Iberians. Pick Peltats. Another unit of the uh, Balearic slingers right there being removed. Infantry-wise. Oh, is that a general? It is. Nabatean Noble General is down. 354 kills and he's still going. Big charge in onto the back of that Nervi General. But again, that General Fort Nabatea is looking not good. Not looking good. 13 men left in the unit, but he's still moving. Still charging along. Is he going to break 400 kills? It's 373 now. It's wavering again there. Over in the town center. Oh, no. They have nothing but ranged over here. Oh, this unit's going to clean up. Clean up over here. These Kamikata are actually going to have the day of days. Clearing out all of these slingers and archers there for Arvaki and Pontus. 322 kills, and he's just going to keep on going. What is that Nabatean general at? Is he still alive? No. 379. Naba General, Nabatean General ended at 379. This Cotton Frank unit here at 332. And he's got way much more to kill. This unit over here, the Camel Cotton 199. What do we got here? Still the Pergamon General. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the Agima Spear, Pergamon General trying to pull back. Noble Fighter General there. Two units of Aravaki Noble Fighters. One of them being removed here. 154 kills down to 25 men. The General here, 78 with 103 and he is taking on oh he's about to be rear charged Osworn now coming in onto the back of this Nervi general he will be removed very very soon to Osworn and a armored Chotel warrior unit where'd that other where did he go did he get killed no he didn't get killed off did he there Oh, he did? He lost a, he lost a unit of the Camel Cataphracts. Not this unit, though. 332. About to get some more. Slamming into these Iberian Swordsmen again. Camel Cataphracts now climbing up, climbing up. Getting close to that Nabatean General. Kill-wise, he's going to keep on going. 206 left in this battle replay, guys. And if you have been enjoying, please make sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Share the content around. And if you are new to the channel, please... Hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out tremendously. Getting more subscribers, more awareness of my channel, and here we go. But they're in square formation. So not really the most effective of charges. 380 kills, though. So this Camel Cataphract unit is now beating the Nabatean General as far as kills. I mean, the Nabatean General we've seen was dead a while ago. The unit did break a long time ago. Saba Archers over here firing down onto that Pergamon General. Comes that Camel Cataphract again. Massive charge again. Bulldozer into that Agima Spear General. So, guys, it does look like the sacrifice that Sparta gave at the beginning, sacrificing his entire army, was in fact good for his allies. Sacrifices were made whole by the fight being won by the attackers. We have 49 seconds left. Not much of the defending army still showing. We got some Skitare out here for Arvaki. 
Marib Royal General taking on both of these units. One Skutari just been removed by this Kamikata Frank unit. 425, almost 431 kills now. Very nicely done. 432 kills there. 26 seconds left in the battle. Um, Skutari there, 67 kills. This unit here with 48. And here they come again. The Camels, one last charge there. But nope, they got disrupted by the towers. 12 seconds left. Did they get any more kills on that? 432 kills. And there goes that Skutari unit. There you go. That is the end of the battle. Final unit there has now shattered two ballista crews that were still up there. Finally have now ran away as well. Costly victory for the attackers. I wasn't sure. I could. I, I was definitely on the fence thinking of the attackers were maybe going to lose that. Really did think they were going to lose that. Uh, but this battle was sent in by AB93, who played his Kush. So, dude, thank you very much for sending it in. 2,137 kills for him. His general 74. His archer crew really not doing very well. One of them doing very well, 196. The other three not faring very well. Uh, his armored Chotel warriors, 197, 132, 397. Good job there. 314, 124. Kushite slave infantry, top kill there was 98. And regular slave infantry, top kill was 40. Now we have marketable skills here, 2,776 kills. Again, I will put the link for his Twitch channel in the description below, guys. Make sure to get out over there. Give him a follow. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I'm saying thank you very much for any of you guys that do go over there and do that. I would appreciate it. Uh, his Marib Royal Guard General, 228. His Ballista, 123. Camel Cataphracts, 435, 245. Very well done. Archers kind of got slaughtered. Didn't really get a whole lot of kills. Moscow Marauders, 139, 154, 107, 195. And his Sabian Swordsman, 108, 124, 146, 127, 118, 184, and 140. Bloody Stranger here, 956 kills. Big time sacrifice. Big, big, big time sacrifice. One unit of his Royal Spartans, 180 kills. One of his Cretan Archers, 126. Everything else, not close. Well, another unit of Royal, another unit of Royal Spartans right there, 95 kills. The other was 76, but their sacrifice was definitely uh, definitely avenged. I'll say that. And then we have Nervi here being commanded by Donald. 1,932 kills. 175 on his general. Archers, 164, 149. Celtics, 108, 108 109. Mm, Oswarm, 234, 143, 128, 316. There you go. Pedro Sur here with Arvaki, 2,115 kills. His general, 205. Slingers, 298, 214. Wow. Very nicely done there with them. Uh, Iberian Swordsman, pretty much normal. Not a whole lot of kills. Noble Fighters, 175. Skutari, 204, 171, 126, 103. Getting in with Beastmaster here and Pontus. His general, 41 kills. Chariots, 244, 207. So ending with pretty respectable numbers there. Uh, one unit of his Eastern Archers with 101. Another unit there with 69. Giggity. Hillman, not a whole lot. Celtics, not a whole lot. Pontic Swords, 162, 100, 206. Evros, 2,509 kills. So the most kills for the Defenders. Second most kills in the battle. 2,509 kills. Gamer General, 154. The rest of his Gamers, 154, 183, 239, 143, and 70. His Galatian Swordsman, 260, 172. 150. Pick Peltas, uh, 240. Wow. 240, 165, 232. So solid numbers there with the Pick Peltas. Thoreo Spears, one unit there with 100, another unit with 99. And then finally, we have Centurion, 2,077 kills. So 2,100 kills. Nabatean General, 379, 243 on the other Camel Spearman unit there. Archers, 219, uh, 98, I guess. Armor Desert Hoplites, 100. A lot of kill, a lot of holding though. They did a lot of holding. The other unit there, one with uh, one fifty six. Sabine Swordsman, one hundred four, one fifteen ninety seven. But all right, guys, there you go. End of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you did enjoy. Again, like I said earlier, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and if you are new to the channel, again, feel free, please hit that subscribe button. It would definitely help me out, getting more awareness for my channel, getting me closer and closer to ten thousand subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, till the next one.